the very best in hardware and software. Today, I am proud to say that we are introducing the Galaxy S to the United States. The Galaxy S will raise the bar in the US mobile market in three vital areas. Screen, speed, and content. Because of these features, SETIA, I said, in the race to be defined smartphone, the starting gun has just been fired, and the Samsung Galaxy S is already standing at the finish line. Tonight, I am excited to unveil the winners in this incredibly important race. Allow me to introduce in alphabetical order the Samsung <laughs> Galaxy S, the family of smartphones. With AT&T, the Samsung Captivate. With Sprint, the Samsung Epic 4G. With T-Mobile, the Samsung Vibrant. And the Samsung Fascinated from Verizon. In addition, look for details of the Galaxy S coming to such regional carriers as US Cellular and Cellular South in the fall of 2010. I congratulate and I'm grateful to all of our US carriers for making the commitment to make the Galaxy S a part of their smartphone portfolios. This history US market launch would not be possible without the strong support and collaboration of the carriers. And now US consumers will soon be able to experience Samsung Galaxy S for themselves. We have more details to share with you about Galaxy S series. Thank you again for being here tonight and for supporting Samsung. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shin. You know, he's right. We're just getting started sharing all of the incredible features and capabilities that Galaxy S will bring to the table in the US. With a deeper dive into the best in class hardware and software that the Samsung Galaxy S portfolio will deliver to the US market, please join me in welcoming our Chief Strategy Officer from Samsung Telecommunications America, Mr. Omar Khan. It's a pleasure to be with all of you here tonight to celebrate the launch of the Galaxy S. This is truly a historic moment for Samsung Mobile. You know, we spent the last seven quarters as the number one mobile phone provider in the United States, according to most analysts. In fact, at the end of the first quarter, we have secured nearly double the market share of our, US of our nearest U.S. competitor. And we did this all, honestly, without a significant presence in the smartphone market. That all changes tonight. The Galaxy S is Samsung Mobile's most significant achievement in the U.S. smartphone market. But honestly, we didn't do this all alone. A large part of the success comes from our strong partnership with our carrier customers. We worked with each of them to design a phone that kept the core DNA of the Galaxy S intact while bringing unique features and customization options to each Galaxy S device. And since JK Shin first announced our plans to deliver a premium smartphone experience three months ago at CTIA, there's been a lot of buzz and rumors within the media, and you are here tonight, about the Galaxy S. Let's take a few moments to look at what some of the initial reactions have been leading up to tonight's Galaxy S launch. Engadget was kind enough to say, you get a feel for the muscle lurking behind that gorgeous Super AMOLED screen. CNET described the Galaxy S this way, with such a beautiful screen and Samsung's one gigahertz application processor to keep things moving, it's no surprise that multimedia will play a key role. And the Android blog, android.com and me, AndroidMe.com concluded that the Samsung Galaxy S has the best display and fastest processor of any Android smartphone that has been officially announced to launch this year. I'm proud to say that all of those reports are in fact correct. 
As we've heard JK say tonight and earlier this year, the Galaxy S offers the very best in screen and speed and content, along with several other high profile features. I'd like to take a moment of your time and tell you a little bit more. In 2009, Samsung introduced the brightest and most vibrant dynamic touchscreen display available on the market at that time, known as AMOLED. While others are still trying to catch up to the standards of AMOLED, Samsung kept pushing the envelope, and with Galaxy S, we're introducing the new standard to be in 2010, the four inch Super AMOLED display screen. Well, I'm here to explain tonight why the Samsung Super AMOLED display screen is superior to all other phone screens in the market today. First, the Super AMOLED delivers a contrast ratio of 50,000 to one. That's more, that contrast ratio is more than 60 times greater than other leading display technologies. That means the Galaxy S will show the very brightest whites and very darkest blacks for unmatched clarity and brightness. To put that into perspective, Super AMOLED brings a contrast ratio that's actually better compared to a typical HD television. Samsung's Super AMOLED screen also offers improved color reproduction that is more than 30% better than other leading display technologies. That means you're seeing an incredibly close match between the color quality you're watching on the mobile phone and the true colors from the original content source, whether it's film, video, or digital images. Plus, the design of the Super AMOLED removes a gap of error between the outer glass and the touchscreen, creating less refraction, better viewing in dark and outdoor light, and a thinner overall form factor. Super AMOLED's response time is 2,500 times faster than other leading display technologies, clocking in at one hundredth of a millisecond. It's pretty darn fast. That means the Super AMOLED display refreshes video images faster than ever, avoiding ghost images and other, video, other types of video distortion. So the Samsung Galaxy S will deliver an HD-like viewing experience for any form of entertainment on the best display, bar none. Those are the facts, and Samsung will put Super AMOLED up for comparison against any other display technology. In fact, you'll get a chance to see for yourselves the differences in Super AMOLED in just a few minutes. Our screen technology also has a couple of other benefits. This beautiful four-inch display has been designed to provide a versatile touch screen experience, including multi-touch pinch, double tap zoom, tap and hold, vertical and horizontal swiping. The, the merging of Super AMOLED's touch responsiveness and, it, and advanced touchscreen gestures creates a smartphone that is truly in touch with you. I've just explained why all displays are not created equal. The same can be said for the application processor in the Galaxy S. The centerpiece of our application processor is the Hummingbird Cortex A8 1 gigahertz processor. This processor is truly worthy of this super phone and will dramatically improve the performance of applications running on top of Android. In addition, the Galaxy S comes with, what, with a GPU that will deliver the best 3D graphics of any Android phone in the market today. And let's not forget about the video capabilities of the Galaxy S. This will allow for encoding and decoding of HD quality 720p video at 30 frames per second. I know that's a lot of numbers, a lot of statistics. What does that actually mean for our consumers? You know what it means? It means faster applications, better graphics, better browsing and gaming, and better recording and video playback. And when coupled with any DLNA device using Samsung's all-share application, you know that HD video you recorded of your son or daughter's soccer game last weekend? You can enjoy that on any laptop or TV wirelessly. So, so far, we've discussed two of the three key differentiators of the Galaxy S portfolio, screen and speed. The best smartphones today, though, successfully marry great hardware and great software. But the Galaxy S will actually take it even a step further. Let's take a, look, let's take a moment to discuss the final and perhaps the most important aspect of the Galaxy S, content. From games and apps to social networking and movies, the Galaxy S will be the most engaging Android device in the marketplace. First, the Galaxy S will run on top of Android 2.1 and have access to the more than 60,000 and growing 
applications offered by the Android market. Plus, the entire Galaxy S portfolio will be upgradable to Android 2.2, which will support Flash 10.1, opening up even more exciting content possibilities in the near future. Imagine having all of your social networking, contacts, calendars, even text messages and email messages merged into one integrated service. Well, welcome to Social Hub. Social Hub is not just an application, it's a service that can be accessed through multiple entry points, allowing users to quickly communicate and connect with the information and people that are most important to them. There's multiple ways that a user can access Social Hub. Let's take a look at it together. The first entry point is contact. So if I click on contact, I can scroll to find my contact that I want to communicate with, or I can go to one of the groups, like friends. I can find my friend Ashley. I can just swipe to send her a text message, or I can send her a tweet, or I can update my Facebook. I can look at the history of communications that we've got together. I can look at her activities, or in her media. I can even respond to her and add a comment to one of her tweets or Facebook updates. A second entry point is feeds and updates which allows you to integrate into one feed, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or any other social network that might be possible in the future. And a final entry point is a, actually an application called Buddies Now. We all have friends or contacts that we think, you know, I think honestly spend more time updating their status and sending tweets than they actually spend time communicating verbally. And I know that that list of feeds can actually be overwhelming. So what we've done is we've created Buddies Now. What that allows you to do is actually take a subset of the people or contacts or media sites that you're most interested in and actually add them to a carousel and keep track of them on a real-time basis. So from Buddies Now, you can communicate directly with those people, just the people who are the most important to you. So three simple ways to make your life easier and more organized. The Galaxy S will also bring a new dimension to the gaming experience. Inside, we've added an accelerometer which will be combined with a geomagnetic sensor. And when you combine those together, you get the Galaxy S with six axis motion sensing. When you combine this exciting technology with our super AMOLED display and 3D graphics support, gamers will feel like they're playing inside the game itself. But there are even more content choices coming to the Galaxy S portfolio. Soon, Samsung will launch its movie and TV content service called Media Hub. This is part of Samsung's plan to assemble a comprehensive library of film and TV content that can be bought and viewed on the Galaxy S. What makes this content different is that all of the video content will be optimized to take advantage of both the HD quality display, or the HD light display, and the advanced processor. This premium content is just another way that Samsung is making the smartphone brilliant. The power and brilliance of the Samsung Galaxy S is truly something you need to experience for yourself. Now with that in mind, we've created several experiential areas tonight here around you. To showcase the Samsung Galaxy S's screen, speed, and content. So in the content area, you'll be able to see firsthand how the Galaxy S handles premium video and gaming content. With our social hub area, you'll be able to see how the Galaxy, help, Galaxy S can help you organize your work and your personal lives. We've also set up some demonstration tables so that you can shoot your own video and photographs. Also, representatives from Samsung and our carrier partners at AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon will be on hand to help you answer questions about the Galaxy S. Now, one very important note, please do keep in mind that all of the Galaxy S phones and accessories tonight are pre-production units. Thank you for being with us here tonight. Uh, I can tell you Sprint has um, several great features to our Galaxy S product. We're the only one with a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. We're the only carrier that offers a front-facing camera. And certainly, most importantly, it's called the Epic 4G. We're the only carrier that offers both 3G and 4G service. So let me get you to a better screen than that. So the the front facing camera. Uh -huh. um, so it's got all the wonderful benefits of Galaxy S, where you've got um, a beautiful Super AMOLED screen, a dynamite uh, user interface, um, all the wonderful things that you get with Samsung's widgets and TouchWiz. Um, it's just a beautifully designed device. We worked hand in hand with Samsung to really make ours differentiate a bit. So let me talk about the keyboard. Really easy to use. You've got three different ways to enter text. Um, you can use the, key, the touch
for the social app? Pardon me? Um, no, I've seen the social app is like